Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is visual effect quality game user settings. Let's go ahead and look at the note itself, and then we'll run through the example, and we'll explain how it works and what it affects. The note's pretty simple. The set visual effect quality node takes in a value. It's an integer between 0 and 3, and the getter returns back an integer between 0 and 3. Now 0 is the lowest setting, 3 is the highest, 1 and 2 are in between, so you have four different ranges you can use. Now the visual effect quality isn't a single change. It's going to be a group of changes. Well, what do I mean by that? This is your base scalability INI file. Your base scalability INI file can be found under the engine config, and it's going to be copied over once you build out, and it allows you to change stuff when you change the visual effects quality. Well, what do I mean by stuff? Well, looking at this, we can see we have effects quality at 0, 1, 2, and 3, which corresponds to our four different settings, 0 through 3. Now, in terms of what it does is it's going to basically make these settings in here. By settings, I mean our detail mode, a scene color format, refraction quality, some translucency settings, material quality, particle light quality, emitter spawn rate for quality, emitter spawn rate. It's going to change these based on if you choose 0 through 3, it's going to make it lower quality, medium quality, a higher quality, and then your epic basically with everything turned on to max. So it allows you to change with one note a bunch of things that affect effects. Now let me show you what I actually mean by that, and I'll show you two examples. I'll show you the material scale. Material scale? What is it? It is the material quality, and I'll change, tell you, oh my gosh, and I'll show you the detail mode. So let's not play through this. Let's go ahead and go back to where I was, and let's adjust this inside of our settings. Now our engine scalability settings that we can adjust with our nodes, we can actually adjust right here inside the engine, and it's nice and useful for when we want to test. So right now I have it on Epic, and where it's our effects quality right here. If I was to change this to high, well, nothing's really going to change. I have nothing that's going to be affected by high. However, if I change it to medium, you're going to notice a dramatic change. My material now changes to something completely different looking. It no longer has our normal map. We don't have our reflections going on, and we have basically low quality materials. If I change this to actually technically medium quality, I'll show you that in a second. And if we change this to low, something different happens. We now actually go back to our higher quality material, but our cube's gone completely. Well, let's look and see how that happened. Let's look at the material itself first. Remember when I mentioned that we adjust our effects quality, one of these is the material quality level, which is right here. At the zero setting, we're setting our material quality to low. At one, we're changing it to medium. At two, we're changing it to high. And at 3, we're changing it to high. I have a quality switch here, which has a default node plugged in for my normal. So that means if I'm using default, low or high, it's going to show the normal map. And if I use medium, it's going to show actually nothing for the normal map, which is why we get that flat look. Which is why when we run through it again, and don't run that, we actually go, let's go back to our cube. There we go. Let's run through our settings. Material quality, not material quality. Effects quality and run through our settings. Medium is our flat, high, and epic is our normal mapped. And low is our normal mapped as well, which you can see down here. But our cube disappears. Now why did our cube disappear? Well, this one's actually pretty cool. Inside of a mesh which I actually just hid my mesh, so that's going to make it a little difficult to select it. Let's go back to Epic. Inside of your mesh, under Rendering, you'll find under LOD, you'll find Detail Mode. Well, remember, Detail Mode is one of our settings right here. 0, 1, 1, and 2. So basically, we're going to have the low, medium, medium, and high setting. 
and it corresponds to this. This is basically a threshold. If my detail mode for this is set to low, if my settings are at low or higher, it's going to render. If it's set to medium, my detail settings, my effects quality needs to be medium or higher. If it's at high, it needs to be at higher or higher, which technically you can't get higher than higher. So we go back to our scalability here. We go to effects. We change this to low. Boom, it's going to disappear again. We change this to low. It's going to come back. Change it to medium. It's going to disappear. So this is a nice way by and for reference, by default, everything comes in as low, so that way everything will show up. So even if you have your scalability set to low, for example, it's still going to show up. But this is a good way, by using one node, your effects quality, to make things appear disappear based on needed. You could, for example, set a torch. Eh, torch is a bad one, because usually you emit light. Let's say a cheese, a block of cheese. You have a in and you have doodads all over the place. You could set blocks of cheese everywhere for details and then set them up to maybe a detail mode of medium. That way only if your player is at medium or higher for their detail mode will they actually see the blocks of cheese. If they're in the low detail mode, well, they might have problems with their computer and their video card might not be up to snuff and they don't want all the extra crap. So use the detail mode when you change your effects settings under the engine scalability to easily remove or add things based on how strong your computer is. That's pretty much going to wrap up our node. The visual effects quality is simple. It takes in or gives back an integer of 0 through 3, 0 being low, 3 being high, and it's going to change these settings as a group. So 3 is here, 2 is here, 1 is here, and 0 is here. And the nice thing, because this is an editable file, you can adjust it as needed. This is a more advanced topic. This is a more advanced feature. It's not really anything you should screw around with until you get your game running and you get some nice sample scenes. You can start playing with levels of details and your particle effects and start adjusting for actual target hardware. Once you do that, this is what you want to adjust it. Now by default, technically turning this on and allowing your players to adjust it without any tweaking will give you some performance benefits, mainly from things such as your particle spawn rates and things like that. You're going to have less particle spawning at lower effects quality than at higher, but it's something you really want to tweak later.